And now, fans, if you would direct your attention to the video boards for a special presentation. Welcome to Hello. I'm really big. We've been playing and playing all my life. I'm trying to play basketball. It's my game plan. Um, I just, this made me become a winner. I just feel like a winner. Like, even when I leave, I'm still going to play like a winner. Serious, but when I came here, I really took it serious and I took advantage of it. And I really like put in the time, like put in the action hours to study all. But I think I'm more immature, like more mature. Like I became a man. Like I started taking more responsibility, and more, more responsibility. I don't know, just the love and the excitement. Like, I can feel the love like, every time I come down this room. Like, even when we go in the half, we're like, we're just doing something. It's just really fun. Like, now I see it open, like, I just want to just take off and just jump really high as I can. Just have to tell the rim now. <laughs>
Harris, in great hands, and the players are still going to be here next year. It's going to be in great hands. So the coaching staff, the support staff, the fans aren't going anywhere. Uh, people are going to wear my jerseys. So hopefully, uh, they'll remember the footprint that I left. You know, I was a guy that played hard and, and did everything and whatever it took to win. And uh, you can't take away the championships. <laughs>
start out down on the mic, but these two guys deserve to be recognized as, as any of the locals and players since I've been here for eight years. And uh, that's important to me. I'm just going to say a little bit about our season, just so everybody knows how I feel about it. And I told our guys, these two guys have set a foundation of a winning culture, even though we didn't have a bad, even though we didn't have a very good year, we have a tournament left to play. But I told them, I told them that this is going to influence all of us. We're all going to learn from it, but it's damn sure not going to define us. And this program is not going to be defined by this season. Uh, I think the biggest thing. Um, that I can say, and, and this is really heartfelt, it's the greatest place to coach in the country. And the, and the only reason why I say that is because of this. We're known nationally, we've had great coaches, we've had great players, uh, we've got great family, but here's the most important thing. We're known nationally because of this building and you fans. We've been preaching for about eight years about family, and this, these, this group right here is all about family. They've had a hard time. But here's what I need from you. Family members have a hard time. We had a hard time this year. Well, we're going to need you even more for the tournament, and we're going to need you even more from here on out the rest of the, rest of the years to come. Because I'm not going to stand here, and I'm not going to let what, let what human DD did for our program not to get us back to where we belong. And that's the most important thing. I'll just talk a little bit about Matt. Matt's been with us for three years. Matt won a state championship in this building for Roswell. Uh, he's been unbelievable. Uh, he, he wasn't able to be a manager full time this year, but he came in and helped us um, with our office stuff with Yolanda. But one thing that Matt has done is he's really grown up and been a man. Uh, he is raising two of his nieces and one of his own daughters. At this age, it's unbelievable. So thanks, man. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Ryan, uh, I'll, <laughs> good story about Ryan. He's a real basketball guy. Hopefully, I get him back next year and get him in the graduate program, so I don't have to lose him. But it is a senior day. But uh, just a little bit of story about him. He came in as a freshman, and I didn't have anybody to help us for the summer. And he kept showing up like 6, 30, 7 a.m., 8 o'clock, getting ready for camp. He was a freshman. And finally, I just started asking questions about him. I said, you know, what do you do? Are you in basketball? I go, are you just living in town? And he drives on the other side of the mountain every morning to come help us for a whole summer. And I didn't realize it. And that's his dedication to our program. But I will say this. We've got unbelievable managers. Uh, Ryan's going to end up being one of the managers, best managers we've ever had, and I think he's going to be a great basketball coach if that's what he wants to do. He really studies the game. He's very, it's almost like, and I have all these guys are like having another staff member. And Ryan, I'm going to say goodbye to your senior night, but I hope that you're with us again next year, which is my plan. But I want to thank you and your family for everything you've done for us, and I really appreciate that. You ready for this mic? I don't know what I can say about him. Um, I can say this. Uh, he he uh, didn't know we were going to get him. We got very fortunate to get him. Uh, he graduated in August, so he was June and July. 
But I can tell you this, the greatest thing that he's ever done for himself and his family is he's going to graduate in May. We all want our guys to play after it's over. We all want us to do the, the greatest accomplishment I can ever say that I ever helped D.D. with is to help him with his degree. From Natalie to our academic staff to my coaches, you should be really proud of yourself that you're going to get a degree, D.D.
how am I gonna make it through it? You don't think I'm, that's why I got a towel. I had a bet with somebody that he'd cry before I would, but I don't think that's gonna work. Um, I, I don't know where you start. I really don't. I, I don't know where you start. Uh, he came here from Australia with the sloppy blonde hair. Uh, and, and, and the only thing I can remember was that I really got, didn't get involved to his recruiting until he got on campus. And we were at a restaurant in Knob Hill, and his mom and dad were here. And the only thing I remember telling him before we left dinner was, you got to trust somebody. And that's what I tell all recruits, you got to trust somebody. And I think the greatest thing about Hugh Greenwood is you can trust him, and he trusted our family, he trusted you, he trusted our community to come all the way over here. I don't know how I'm going to replace the 93 taps on my shoulder leaving the bus when we're on the road. He always made sure he tapped me on the shoulder before we went left the bus. I don't know how I'll replace that. Maybe I'll convince somebody else to do that. Um, but I just, I just think his character and what he stands for is a typical thing that we teach all our players. And I think he's going to leave a lasting impression on all our players. And I think he helped DD Dee Dee, as DD Dee Dee helped some of our guys, how to carry yourself, how to treat people how to give back, and most importantly, how to love. I think the only thing that, that I'm, I'm really glad that he's leaving is that he can't catch me with championship rings because he's got so many of them. Because um, he was catching up pretty quick. Uh, what he's done in this community is second to none of any player that's ever played here. With the, the only thing that's going to really keep me from breaking down is that he's, <laughs> he made me the guinea pig to shave my head and now he's going back out. <laughs> His family's meant the world to us. Joseph plays here. I think it's really been a lot this year the last few years. Just your presence has meant a lot to us when we're winning championships when you've come over the years in the past. But we still got another one to play for. You guys will always be major parts of this community. Um, we'll keep the pink pack going while you was out playing in Europe or playing in Australia. He did one thing this year that I'm really, really proud of him, and I think you guys should be proud of him. He never got down one day. Never got down. Now by, now by himself, I'm sure he got down. But he never got down. He came to practice every day. He listened. He was coachable. He was helpful. And he battled to the end. And that's one reason we won on senior night, because he just refused to lose on senior night.
Well, I don't even know where to begin. Um, I try my best to keep this front. I'm always at this front of this robot guy that does the emotional things like that. But uh, um, with everyone seeing tonight, everything that's happened in the last couple of years, it's, it's going to be difficult to get through it.